Hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a little unboxing video in my bedroom because I wanted to get this video out because this Mars 4 DLP in the UK at the moment I think ships on about May the 5th but I've managed to get mine a bit early so I want to whip it open and see what's in the box see how big it is and see how it compares in size to my Frozen Mini 8K. So I pre-ordered this from, I think it's called 3DS Jake, um, and I pre-ordered it, not expecting it to arrive for a considerable amount of time. And even on the Elgu website as well, um, it was showing completely out of stock, like the page just was completely taken down. And then I pre-ordered this, and it just randomly arrived one day, well, yesterday. So in the box, we've got the bits of paper. The usual packaging. And then the printer itself. I'm gonna quickly whip this box out because you don't have to see all this, but you just wanna see the printer, obviously. Okay, so that's pretty much what comes in the box. We got a adapter, some information, and the printer itself. So I actually purchased this DLP printer because I was concerned that my LCDs were going to burn out on my Mini 8K, uh, and also I have a Saturn 2 as well, and a Mighty 8K. Um, but as I've been using them so often, I saw this come available, and I thought. I'm going to buy my first DLP. Now, I don't know how this compares to the Anycubic Photon D2, um, but I imagine they're going to skimp on some of the build qualities to get that DLP price down. Now, I'm not sure if Elegu currently do a DLP resin. I think they do their 8K resin, but like Anycubic do a DLP specific resin. So I don't know yet if Elegu actually do that. So we've got the lid here, got some little, I don't know, branding on there. And this comes packaged pretty much the same as any other 3D printer. We've got our toolkit there that'll have our Allen keys in to level the bill plate. Oh, it actually comes with a um, carbon filter, which is quite nice. Now, I didn't know that inside here, inside the filter, there'd be a little plastic covering. So remove that, otherwise it's not actually doing anything. Some gloves, some tools, some filters, some masks, blah, blah, blah. Handle. Build plate. <laughs> now I'm used to the Frozen Mighty 8K, the Mini 8K and the Saturn 2. So this is, to me, seems really tiny. <laughs> like really diddy. If you're wondering, Build plate is 14 centimetres by uh, eight and a half centimetres. So I'll quickly show you the machine here. We've got a single rail on the Z-axis. Again, because the build plate's so small, I don't think you're going to have to worry about any Z-wobble with that. The tray itself is so the vat is nice and deep which is good so you haven't got to worry about that splashing out nice deep vat metal vat so that is good usb on the side which i'm not a fan of but it is at the front which is good so we've got our power switch on the side usb on the side power input front LCD which is obviously quite small but you know you only need to click a button to print and then we got the USB connector which is only for the air filters due to the power output so I don't want to try and do anything else off of that um, which I think it says on here but the machine itself is Diddy it's like a little baby printer so for £500, what you're paying for is that DLP projection. Which again, although on paper will have 
a lower resolution for printing, it will actually be a higher, more accurate print. So you can't compare the two. You can't compare the resolution of this sort of projector to the resolution of a, let's say, a, a Mini 8K, because they're two different things. They're not, not comparable at all. But the build quality is actually really nice. So it reminds me of my um, Saturn II. So there it is again, if you want to see the build plate, um, the tiny little build plate. Um, now, I'm not sure how this compares to the Photon D2, but I would presume that it's probably the same. For the locking mechanism and the leveling system, it looks like the same as the Saturn II. So it's on this ball axis there. You just tighten the two after leveling, and that secures it to the arm but overall really happy um, this costs 500 pounds um, and again the reason I bought this was for the DLP projection just so I had a printer that I didn't need to worry about any of the um, the LCD screens failing so at a cost to that you obviously have this small um, the small build volume so yeah that's basically you buy this printer if you're happy with the small build volume, which for miniatures will be actually quite good. And it takes up a small form factor on your desk. So it's only small. And also, um, let me think. Yeah, build quality is really nice. 500 pounds, DLP, long life, and small build volume. So in my next video, I'm gonna do some test prints on the thing and um, compare them to my Sonic Mini 8K.